<laughs> it is my pleasure and my uh, excitement to be honoring today Nicole Termini Germain, the mother of the Portola Library. Our, as our District 9 honoree for Women's History Month. Nicole, a native of New Jersey, grew up surrounded by books and credits her mother with cultivating in her a love of reading. Not allowed to watch any TV, oh, gosh, better mother than I, <laughs> except for the Muppets, <laughs> Nicole spent hours as a child visiting the library and hosting story time for anyone who would listen, including her stuffed animals. At 16, Nicole decided to spread her wings and move across country to live with her dad in Santa Cruz, and California became her permanent home. Nicole's original goal was to become a teacher, but in 1993, while in college, she became a page at the SF Main Library, and she never looked back. Being a librarian was her passion and her destiny. Quoted in Beyond the Dewey Decimal, an article published in the Chronicle in 2002, when she was almost finished getting her master's in library science from San Jose State University, Nicole called herself a new librarian of the 21st century, explaining that the role of librarian needed to shift dramatically in today's age of information from shushy, chatty guests and using the Dewey Decimal System to becoming an information specialist. In 2003, after 10 years working as a library page, Nicole became the Portola Branches Children's Librarian and Branch Manager, a position she still holds today to the excitement of her many, many Portola <laughs> Library fans, young and old. Nicole literally knows the name of every single child that lives in the Portola. <laughs> it's truly amazing. <laughs> A self-proclaimed book pusher and screen diverter, Nicole believes that libraries are a bastion of democratic society. Everything is free and everyone is welcome. In order to encourage kids to love libraries and to love to read, Nicole implements a restorative justice policy, working with rambunctious kids so that they always feel welcome. When a bilingual third grader told her, I love this library so much I never wanna leave, she knew her love of libraries was rubbing off on the kids. <laughs> In addition to her love of books, Nicole has a powerful love for the Portola District, a founding member of the Portola Urban Greening Steering Committee, whose mission is to promote Portola's garden district identity by building community and a greener, more sustainable future. Nicole helped plant the first native drought tolerant pollinator friendly garden in the Portola in 2014. And she has welcomed with open arms the installation of a seed library, which follows the model of a book library at her Portola branch. Not only does the seed library teach kids about the Portola's horticultural history and celebrate its garden district identity, but it also teaches them about nutrition and food security and makes the library more of a community space. When she's not devoting her time to her adopted family in the Portola library and her own family in Milbrae, her husband, Vaughn, who is here with her today, and two young daughters, Naya and Alana, Nicole advocates for employee rights at SEIU Library Guild Delicate on the SF Citywide Bargaining Team, believing that happy employees serve the public better. Imagine that. <laughs> Nicole, your contagious passion and enthusiasm for encouraging kids to read is inspiring. And from all of us in District 9, and especially the Portola community, congratulations for being by far the coolest librarian in town. We love you. <laughs> thank you so much, Hillary. Thank you to you and your team. And thank you, hello to everyone here today. Thank you for being here. I think Hillary said it all. <laughs> and yes, I, 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 feel so, I feel so lucky to be honored for doing something I absolutely love doing. Um, I do put my heart and soul into everything I do at the Portola Branch Library for the youth and everyone of other ages too, but you know, I do focus on youth, it's true. Um, I see libraries as, you know, in these dark times, I think we need a lot more light and I see each library and each one of us as being that light to help guide people through whatever they need help with, whether it be citizenship, hey, figuring out where they need to vote, registering to vote, you name it, we got it all at the library. Um, and I, will, I have done it for nearly 30 years. I have committed myself, I have been dedicated to the people of San Francisco and anyone else who may wander into the branch. Um, and I will continue to do so for as long as I am able. 
Um, and again, I feel also, there's a lot of gratitude. Gratitude is always the attitude, right? Um, I am quite grateful that I have the opportunity to serve people every day in this way. I have this opportunity every day to help people make their lives better, to, you know, to help youth understand that, you know, everything is not happening on the screen. There's real life out there. There's books. And that's right. I am, in fact, a self-proclaimed book pusher and screen diverter, because I believe we need, we need to bring up Thank you. A society of humans rather than drones, right? So I will continue to try humanizing the world as much as possible. And as we always say, all are welcome. All are welcome. The light is always on at every single library. I treat you all like you're my house guests and welcome. Come to my house. <laughs>